Aries, I'm the Burke, and I do things. And today I did a full face testing out every product that came in my Ipsy and my BoxyCharm this month. And some of it I really liked and some of it was just the worst. So if you want to see how everything went, what I liked and what I didn't like, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so the first product came in Scott's Glam Bag and he received two face masks from Secret Key. One is the Nature Recipe Tea Tree Mask and the other is the Nature Recipe Honey Mask. So I am going to pop on the honey mask and tell you guys a little bit more about what Ipsy has to say about these. It definitely smells like honey. Okay, so Ipsy says why you'll love it. After a day in the sun, a soothing sheet mask is our BFF. Not only are these masks super refreshing, you get two in the pack, tea tree and honey, and they're both loaded with skin loving ingredients. The tea tree mask is made with tea tree extract, hyaluronic acid, and centella acetica extract. That was so wrong. Tea tree extract has natural anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties that help heal skin and fight breakouts. Hyaluronic acid hydrates your skin by attracting and retaining moisture. Its molecules can hold up to 8,000 times their weight in water. I'm sorry, Mario keeps meowing. Mario! Centella extract heals and improves elasticity by boosting skin cell and collagen production. The honey mask, which is what I'm wearing, has honey extract royal jelly extract and oh, same word centella asiatica extract honey helps balance your skin's moisture levels and has strong anti-inflammatory properties royal jelly extract nourishes and heals the skin all the secret keys masks are cruelty free so no animals were harmed to make them and pretty much all it says on the back is you start with a cleansed face put it on for 20 to 30 minutes Take it off and massage in. So I'll be back in a little bit to take my mask off. Okay, I just peeled off the mask because this has never happened. I mean, look at my forehead. It is bright red. It wasn't like bothering me, but it had like this really, really, really strong fragrance. And that's why I originally took it off because the, the fragrance was too strong for that honey mask. But I mean, <laughs> Look at my forehead. Why did that make me bright red? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna call that mask a flop. Not happy about hmm. that. So I've given it about another 10 minutes since I took off the mask and my forehead is still completely red. I have no idea. I've never had an issue with anything having honey in it before. So I'm not really sure what just happened. So I guess on to the next product. Our next product is from my BoxyCharm, and this is the Dr. Brandt Needles No More, No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel. So what BoxyCharm says about this is, say goodbye to puffy and say hello to youthful, rested looking eyes with Dr. Brandt's No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel, formulated with biomimetic technology, peptides, and botanical extracts. You are guaranteed visibly reduced under eye bags and dark circles and this retails for $42. It says, after your eye moisturizer, warm a tiny amount between fingers and gently pat directly on bags and dark circles. Use alone or under makeup. For best results, let dry in between applications. Reapply as needed. That thing's coming out. Oh, it's just really hard to squeeze out. Oh, okay, that was really hard. It is a salmon-y color, so I will warm it between my fingers, like so. It definitely looks with that salmon -y color like a color corrector almost. All right, we'll see how everything applies over it. Okay, next from my Ipsy, I received the Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm for dry skin, luscious lips, and glossy bits. And it says, why well, I love it. You can heal and hydrate anywhere, including the most sensitive of areas with this thick, long-lasting formula. It's made with all natural, cruelty-free, Lanolin, which is wax produced from the glands of domestic sheep. Talk about bang for your buck. This seriously beloved balm has almost too many uses to count. Just a few we love, as a lip gloss, diaper cream, even a mustache sculpting wax for depper gents. So let me put a little of this on my lips. So it's a yellowish color. 
is very thick. Wow. Very thick. Next, from my BoxyCharm, I have the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Mist. I have tried the sample size of this and liked the scent, but wasn't crazy about the nozzle on the mini one. So what BoxyCharm says is, give your skin the glow it deserves with this antioxidant-packed cucumber, fruit, and plant extract skin tonic. The non-sticky mist delivers a radiant dewy finish for lit from within luminosity. Refresh dull, tired, or sluggish feeling skin throughout the day or use after your skincare routine to balance tone and boost your complexion. So I will be using this as both my primer and my setting spray today. Now, is it like cucumbery in that description? I remember it smelling like toothpaste. Yeah, it still smells like toothpaste to me. Well. I don't not like it, but I do have to say that the mister is the same. It almost feels like it mists in a straight line or something, not in a like circular pattern. I don't know. What I'm going to do is my base makeup and then I will be back and test a bunch more makeup. Okay, so my next product is from BoxyCharm. And this is from Chella and this is the Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. And what BoxyCharm says about this. Add some wow to your brows. This innovative brow cream effortlessly defines and shapes your eyebrows with its creamy consistency and built-in brush. The velvet-like formula makes blending easy, then sets giving you perfect brows that will last all day and night. And it retails for $26. So overpriced. Okay, so when I take this part off, there's an eyebrow brush. Then I twist this piece off and the eyebrow cream is in here. This brush seems kind of thick, so we'll see what happens. In what world is that taupe? Okay, final thoughts. It's a good product. I think the cream is nice, a nice formula, but it's definitely not taupe. Like, this is a darker color than I would typically put in my brows, so I'm trying to understand how this would work for other people. And the brush is okay. It's a little flimsy and thicker than I would want from an eyebrow brush, but overall I would never pay $26 for this product. My next product is from Ipsy and this is the Elizabeth Mott Tapered Blending Brush. And Ipsy says, why you'll love it. Aside from looking adorable in our brush jar, the pastel lavender handle is so summery and fun. This shadow brush is just the right shape and size for buffing and blending eyeshadow into your eye crease. The tapered brush head makes it great for contouring the bridge of your nose, setting under eye powder, and applying highlight to your cheekbones. This baby is vegan and cruelty free, your animals will approve. And for eyeshadow, I was thinking of using the blush palette from Pacifica that came in my Ipsy as well. And what Ipsy says, why you'll love it. Whether you want to warm up your face, add a subtle flush of color or both, the shimmery shades in this blush bronzer duo will get the job done. The blendable, buildable shades flatter all skin tones. It's infused with coconut, which makes application ultra smooth and 100% non-streaky. This vegan cruelty-free brand is a woman owned. So I am thinking of taking this browner shade in my crease. And it comes with a little mirror on the back. And I am going to try the pinkier shade on my lid. Now I want to take a eyeshadow that came in Scott's Glam Bag. This is from City Color and it is the City Chic Eyeshadow in Skinny Latte. And Ipsy says, why I love it. Super blendable, easy to apply. Our lids are loving the buttery smooth shadow. The creamy formula is ultra rich and pigmented, so just one swipe will make your eye look pop. Versatile much? The neutral and so pretty champagne color works with literally any eye look on any skin tone. This do-gooder is 100% paraben and cruelty free. What's not to love? So I'm going to try and tap some of this out on my eyelid towards the inner corner. Oh, that is really, really pretty. I like that a lot. So pretty. So my next item I have questions about, but let me start by explaining what it is. This is from Ico London and is the Skinny Liquid Eyeliner in Black and it says, why you'll love it. What other Ipsters think, it went on really smooth and it's super easy to create a thick line or thin line with it. 
It may be mini, but this inky black eyeliner packs a punch. It's smudge proof, long lasting, and highly pigmented. So a little goes a long way. It's made with nutrient rich algae extract that helps hydrate and soften the delicate skin on your lids and gives it a smooth, glossy finish. Fierce flicks, dramatic graphic eyes, a precision tip is just the right size and shape to create them all with ease. The travel size too fits snugly into your teeniest clutches so you can take it anywhere you go. We hear it's a favorite of super stylish cat eye queen Alexa Chung. So it's deaf. Hmm, I don't know that one. Wrong Alexa. So it's deaf good enough for us. Now my Sorry, issue. I'm not sure about that. Okay. So my issue is I received the Ico London that's where I draw the line eyeliner in an Allure Beauty Box. And this is the Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. However, to me, the tips look exactly the same. So I wanna do swatches of them and see if there's really even a difference. This is the, that's where I draw the line, and this is the skinny. Let's start with examining the tips. Do you guys see a difference? Because honestly, I don't see a difference in the swatches. I'm like kind of concerned that Ico is selling the same exact eyeliner just in different packaging. Because to tell the truth, I didn't like the other Ico eyeliner. So I'm going to test this out. I will be back and I will let you know what I think. Honestly, it seems very similar to me. My issue with the other Ico liner was I feel like it tugs a lot and I really wanted something a lot smoother. So I'm gonna finish off the eye look with the brown shade underneath my lash line. And I'm gonna dab a little of the city color in my inner corner. In general, I like how the eyes look right now. Now, onto the face. So I kind of want to see if this brown shade could be used as a bronzer. We'll see what happens. It's a little bit warmer than I would typically want from a bronzer. However, it probably works. So instead of using this blush in this video, I'm going to test out the blush that came in BoxyCharm this month. This is from Note Cosmetics in the shade Desert Rose, and it says, designed to work for all skin types, this luminous paraben-free blush adds natural color to your cheeks. While preventing dryness with its argan oil-infused formula, the built-in brush and mirror makes this little compact three-in-one treat perfect for the charmer on the go, and it costs $11.99. I'm not really a blush person, so I'm going to go in very light-handed. I picked up a lot. Gonna. It's got a lot of pigment. Okay, it's too pigmented. So it's way too much. Okay, so we're gonna do this first. Uh huh, that is not cute. Ugh, why does blush always look so bad on me? Ooh, I hate it. I wish blushes weren't like this. Like, hmm, not a fan. Not a fan. I think it would be really good on someone maybe with a deeper skin tone than me that needs that pigment, but I like a nice, subtle, barely shows up blush. Okay, now let's set it all. The next item I wanna talk about is from Ipsy. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Light. Why you'll love it. 10 benefits in one bottle, you bet. This hardworking hair treatment does everything and then some. Conditions, protects, restores, repairs, detangles, defrizzes, refreshes. We could go on. Shower, short cut alert, spritz some of this on after you shampoo and it'll make your hair as soft as conditioner and save you a few minutes in the AM. It's super lightweight and won't weigh you down your strands and it also works wonders on fine hair. Now, actually, after my shower last night, I used the regular version of this, and I really do like it's a 10. I've been using it for years. However, I have no idea what the light version is. I don't feel like it really said anywhere what light means, but I'm definitely gonna use it. I love it's a 10, and it's a very expensive product, so I'm glad that I got it in a bag. And I have one last product to try. And this is from Wander Beauty, and this is the Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. And BoxyCharm says, this award-winning black and intensely glossy mascara will bring your lashes to new heights, literally. The unlashed mascara volumizes, lengthens, strengthens, and conditions your lashes while using a combination of gentle ingredients. And this retails for $24. So this has a curved wand.
Okay, so I put about three coats on this eye. It definitely lengthened. I don't feel like it gives much, does it say it's, it says volume and curl. I feel like it more lengthened than anything. Okay, I did three coats on each side and I genuinely think it looks nice. Now I just have to hope it does not flake on me. Okay, so let's go through everything. The sheet mask was a total flop for me. Maybe my biggest sheet mask flop of all time. The Dr. Lip Nipple Balm is great. It's so thick and hydrating. I don't know if I've ever used a lip balm this hydrating before. The Elizabeth Moth Blending Brush did a great job. It's the only brush I used on my eye look today. The Cella Brows. I really liked the product. However, I think it is extremely overpriced for what it is. The Dr. Brandt Needles No More. I cannot see my dark circles right now. And currently all I have on as far as makeup goes is the Physicians Formula Foundation with the Flower Beauty Concealer. The Ico liner is okay. I'm not really sure Ico is selling different liners or if they're just all the same and they just call them different. I don't know. It's shady. I don't get it. The Note Blush, I mean, it's not for me. I don't think it's a bad product, but it's not for me. I really liked the Pacifica blushes though, especially because like I feel like they made a really nice eye look and I like that I could make two uses out of one product. I really, really like this City Chic color and the actual pan is so big. I should use this. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna see if it can highlight. Yep, the answer is yes. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Yep. That is the opposite of a subtle highlight. That is blinding. Wow. I am definitely excited to try out a new, it's a 10 product. The Tarte Ready Set Radiant. I don't know, I don't think it's worth $25. It's okay. I think it's more of a refreshing mist. Maybe it's fine as a primer, but I don't think I would set my makeup with it again. And then I think the last product is the mascara, which I like. I've heard people not really like it, but I have no issue with it. Definitely it's not a one coat mascara, but I find a lot of mascaras need two or three coats to perform well. Let me know, what did you guys think of what came in your Ipsy's and BoxyCharms this month? How did everything work for you? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter, my Instagram, and my blog down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.